All right, welcome to class, everyone. Um, this is Mr. Wind. I am excited to talk to you again this week. Um, this week, we are going to be doing a um, drawing based on the ideas of John Moreau, um, as opposed to um, making artwork that tries to look like somebody else's work. We're really gonna be just kind of thinking about the ideas of his work. Um, so as in the analysis video you saw, um, Juan Miro's um, work is all about what's called surrealism. So it's kind of this idea that underneath this real world that we live in is this subconscious world where our um, dreams affect our life just as much as the real world do. So today what I'm asking you guys to do is to sincerely, like, you have a whole week to do this. I want you to be thinking about your dreams and I want you to be waking up from a dream and like writing down what you dreamt and like choose one of those dreams that you've had and turn it into a drawing. So um, it doesn't have to necessarily look exactly like your dream. You want it to look dreamlike though. So in my dream that I had last night, um, I was in this like kind of long hallway and a door was locked. And when I turned around at the end of the hallway was this um, like nighttime scene that was like a tree and some rocks and some bushes and a road. And um, underneath all that was this kind of like tunnel or this like um, burrow that an animal had made and you could see the animal's eyes looking at me. Um, and it was a little scary. Um, I was unsure because I couldn't get in that door and there's this animal looking at me and I was kind of unsure about what was happening But at the same time it was really like beautiful. So that's what I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna be drawing the um, Nighttime scene with um, the tree and some bushes and some rocks and I'm gonna be um, Making it kind of look dreamlike and I'm gonna be making it uh, Also kind of pretty at the same time. So I'm trying to really keep in mind the access that you have to materials. And so even though I have access to things like watercolor, um, I have some acrylic paint in my house, um, I'm really trying to keep in mind what you guys can access. And based on that survey, a lot of you have access to pencil and paper, and that's about it. So I'm kind of sticking in that vein. Um, I do have a white charcoal pencil, and I have construction paper. And if you do not have these things, that's fine. This can be done completely in pencil. This is about you accessing your dreams and making it look like the way your dreams look. So I am going to be drawing mine in this white pencil on a black piece of paper to give it that kind of nighttime feeling. Um, I'm gonna start by drawing my tree. And I'm going to make it kind of like a cypress tree and I'm going to follow the shape. I'm going to put kind of a, a bush over here very lightly because I'm going to actually do something kind of cool with the bush. So I'm just kind of lightly, you may not even see it on the video, be seeing what I'm doing with this bush because I'm going to be doing something kind of neat with it. Um, I'm going to actually put the animal's burrow right here. Again, I'm going to do it kind of lightly in pencil. And I'm going to put a rock next to that burrow. And again, I'm doing it very lightly, intentionally making this rock on the side here. I'm going to put another rock on the side over here. Again, lightly in pencil. Again, lightly in pencil. I'm just going to draw a road that seems to be coming over here. Um, I'm going to draw the moon kind of over here. I'm going to check my screen. I don't know if you guys can see all this. Nope, you can't. So let me fix this so that you can kind of see what I've done so far. Yeah, you can see most of that. That's good. Okay. Um, here we go. So with the tree, I'm going to make it actually a little bit more pointy and I'm going to make it kind of Shade it down like this. I'm gonna make it kind of make light marks here and then medium light and then really dark so that we have this kind of like where this moon kind of seems to be hitting it. Um, inside this tree, I'm gonna to kind of make some kind of fluffy stuff that I'm gonna make 
shade it out so that it looks like And you can, with this charcoal, this white charcoal, it's not as good as other charcoal for blending, but you can kind of get that blend in there so that it starts to look like it's blending. So I'm gonna start with my heart on this one, and then I'm actually gonna now take it out really light because I kind of have an idea of where I want it to go, and then I'm gonna do my medium on top of that. Do some more light out. I'm gonna blend it. And then down here, I'm gonna do another one. The idea is to just kind of make it look like this tree is, has some like depth to it and it's not just a flat tree, but it actually has some like kind of, uh, branches or some leaves going down but also like it looks super uneven and um not uneven sorry it looks too too even to actually be a tree it's too kind of dreamlike looking so you're kind of thinking like dr seuss if you've ever seen like the grinch that stole christmas that movie kind of thinking about that kind of stuff like how can i make this look even more weird and dreamlike. So that's my tree. Um, I'm gonna go over to the bush now and I'm going to just kind of fill the half the bush in with kind of like really light strokes with my pencil. I'm intentionally making it look kind of messy because bushes are not even, even in my dreams. Notice how my, my pencil strokes seem to be kind of following the shape. And now I'm gonna do about medium heavy in there, following the shape that I kind of imagined for this bush. And now I'm gonna do really, really heavy following the top of the shape that I imagined for this bush. And again, I'm okay with it kind of being uneven because bushes are not even. And then I'm gonna kind of blend it in. And now I'm gonna do that again here. I'm gonna take my light stroke. I'm gonna to try to fill in the rest of this bush. And on top of that, I'm gonna do some medium stroke so that it's medium pressure so that it kind of starts to blend in. And then on top of that, I'm gonna do some really heavy stroke, heavy pressure. Sun's coming in in a weird way right now. And I'm just gonna blend this in. And then on my rock here, I'm gonna pick some places and I'm gonna make them do some light pressure, some medium pressure, and then some heavy pressure to kind of make it look like the rock has faces on it, like it has light pressure. Some medium pressure and then some heavy pressure, light pressure, medium pressure and some heavy pressure around the burrow here just to kind of make it start to look like the rock has kind of like faces to it, like it kind of is moving around, that it's not just a flat rock. So I'm gonna do that again with this rock over here. The sun, the moon seems to be coming almost more from the top of this right in here. I'm gonna add some light and lightening up up here to kind of give it that more realistic look. I'm just kind of trying to blend everything 
as much as I can to smooth it out because I want it to look kind of dreamy and weird. Um, so from this one, I'm going to put definitely put put some light pressure. I'm going to make the faces on this one a little bit different. And then some medium pressure, and then some heavy pressure. Blend it. Do that same thing over here, light pressure. Some medium pressure, and some heavy pressure. Kind of blend it. I'm gonna put some heavy pressure all the way around the top here. Just to kind of give it this feeling that like, there's definitely a rock here. There's some definitely different faces happening on that rock. Hi, Winston. Um, now I'm gonna do the road. So I'm thinking about where my moon is and where the light's coming from. So the whole road's gonna get some very light pressure on it. I actually think I need to kind of sharpen this a little bit. It's getting kind of dull. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just kind of put a light pressure the whole way through. And I'm gonna about fill about half of it with medium pressure. I'm okay with it kind of looking like it's um, uneven because it's a road and it should look kind of uneven. And at the top, I'm gonna to put some heavy pressure kind of following the road that I put down. Because again, you want this to look dreamlike. You don't want it to necessarily look like reality. And then I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna to try to blend it the best I can down. The white doesn't blend like normal charcoal, but it does kind of smooth out a little bit, which is great. And now I'm gonna do the scary part of this. So again, there seems to be some moonlight hitting here on this thing. So I'm gonna like, and then a little less pressure, heavier pressure, and then as it starts to turn, some less pressure. And I'm going to get my eyes in there. These eyes are kind of close together in my dream, so I'm gonna do that here. I'm also gonna round them out just a little bit more. I'm gonna fill them in, round it out, and fill it in. I really want that area to feel dark, and so in order to do that, I'm actually gonna like make it kind of heavy, and then as I get back, make it lighter so that it feels like there's definitely something going on in there. It's even darker than the rest of it. I'm going to make this moon very, very, very dark. White, white, white. And then go a little bit lighter out from that. And then even lighter. I don't even know if you guys can see this and that's fine. This is all will be in the photograph at the end. Again, I'm just gonna kind of blend it. Um, and that's my dream scene. Thank you guys for watching.